Come closer and listen to what Zoltar has to tell you. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to another Counter-Strike video. In this episode we will be watching some of the best and funniest moments from famous streamers from Twitch. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Oh well, thank you. Old back on overpass. Yeah. They were at least good in these pistol rounds. And so if that can stay true to Astralis now, they can hit the ground running here to open up their map pick. Double porch side set up oh, though and Zai Wu is taking heads off. He's on for the ace. Not gonna get it. Lucky will remove him. But oh boy, the That's... big boy Azai Wu immediately throwing down the gauntlet to open up this pistol round. Vitality, it's them. Over. Yeah, a bit of a, a B round. Heroic have not had to deal with too many lower takes in this T side. So now they're all grouped up. They've cleared lobby. They've worked it out. They hear the steps. Notice they don't have a kit here. That's going to uh, cut the clock for them. Moving down ramp, everyone grouped up right now. Shush is late in the vent. Ready, they're just running through. They're giving no respect, no room, but Hades Orb does fire through. We're waiting for this flank, but Hades waits for no one. Two kills, leaving Shush in a clutch. He's having a great game right now, but he needs something unbelievable, and it won't happen. So quick rotates for Heaven players with the Orb, but Glaive holding strong and getting a double. You just don't need the whole Astralis entourage here. One man's enough. Glaive's done it this time around. And even if he falls, Bubski now joined by another man in Dupree. Play wants them all though, and he might just find what? five. Yeah, he's on for the ace here. Give it to him. No! Bubski, are you trying to end up sidelined again? You just stole the ace from Glaive. Come on now. Yeah, in they go. You don't want to lose the pistols here. You don't want it to be another 30 rounds where the comeback is denied. Oh, they they get down the vent. They get past Diha. He's so often been the problem. Snappy now has to be the man to give up answers, and Kadian's going to trade him. Oh, lordy, the B-site. It's fallen to the hands of Heroic. Kadian's orb now becomes even more influential in the post plot. Oh. And there he is, taking the head off of Hades. Stout up close, fighting with the Tech-9, trying to pull Kadian oh. into the fight. And it might have been a snappy game back on Mirage. But now in map three, in round 30, when it matters most, Kadian's going to walk it over the line for Heroic. Oh my goodness. Well, there what? certainly is a spawn base yeah. play getting made. Look at this. <laughs> oh Zai my Wu, god, it's gonna work. He's up in middle. He is in their face. He's he waking kills behind Glaive. the smoke. Oh, oh no. Glaive oh. dead. Zai Wu no. doubling down. That's the bomb as well. Oh. No smoke without fire. The molly down on ramp smoked off. And Zai Wu uses that to his advantage. Now he's re-smoked yeah. the stairs. This gives him an avenue to try and clear Lucky out of the park. He has no help. Oh, bro, Zai Wu is... Say this, you know, when we've seen these Astralis games, like, it's just the, the no respect. Feels like it's just such a, a flip. This roster doesn't get given a room that they would love anymore. Masuta... Pushing up into the water, double opener. A third easily done, and the bomb loose. This round's over. Safe to say. It felt like Astralis, you know, they, they go 9 6 down, they win a pistol, suddenly it's equal. They have this, you know, seemingly one round on that A site. It doesn't go their way in the three on three, and now it's all come up for the Frenchman every single round since. It's just terrifying because, like, Thus far, this second half is, is, is bearing a, a shocking amount of similarities to, to the, the first, first half, yeah. right? Where, yeah, they got the pissed around, they got the conversions. That's essentially where the success begins and ends. Um, and now that the rifles have come through, Vitality have been ahead every step of the way. Yeah, clean rounds as well. Or at least this one. And that's a, that's a nice feeling for Vitality. They don't have a lot of money in the coffers, so keeping five alive here is, is going to be the call. It's, it's watch out, you know, don't lose your guns. We'd love uh, a bit more money to fall back on. Not that we're worried about Astralis yet. They haven't... <laughs> okay, Glaive. Haven't threatened them too much on this T side. Apart from that one round that comes down to time. Glaive, a lovely dig earlier, but now he's all that sits in this round. And as good as Glaive has been individually, we've already seen that's not saved the day for Astralis. Push up through Monster Vitality. You just want to end this quick and Glaive won't be ready for the close position. Easily done. What Shock's going to be able to get away with, right? It depends how much they get baited into Apex. It's not enough, sadly. Oh, the second oh, peak. Glaive oh. popping them all up on the B entry. And suggests Zywoo left in the 1v3. 
Hami's got a P250. Yeah, I can call this one off confidently, safely. Why no curse, no jinx, no worry. Yeah, it's probably fine. I, I actually yeah. agree with you for once, Hugo. <laughs> well, and that's when we know it's locked in. Glaive, lovely round for frags. Now, underhand this flash, try to go with it. Oh, wow, Bubs can trip out of nowhere. How's he get the quad tech nine out? We know he likes the taps, but Dupree likes to steal the ace. There's no complaints at this point in the game. You're just taking the rounds as they come through, and they're coming through. Down to B, as is the idea behind this strategy. We actually call this one the Hugo. And Enser all here, grouped up, pushing in. Great understanding of what was happening in this pistol round. Oh. Shush, though, he understands something far more pure, and that is oh. these Glock taps. Spinks with one. Just Shush left to B, and he's going to do it. He fuses in and Ents win the pistol, tying us up at 8-8. Eight to eight. It's a big round for Spinks and the boys. Yeah. Well, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to press the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.